Welcome to another theory video. This video is on CAPE IT Unit 1. I hope you learned something. Computer engineering focuses on the design of a computer, hardware and peripheral devices. So it really focuses on logic, how circuit boards work. So computer engineering has a lot of ones and zeros. And um, the major output you get com com computer engineering is microchips, circuits, and hardware, stuff like that. They uh, they build circuit boards, so you know, like the green thing with all the um, the little devices on top of it that make it look like a city. Yeah, that's um, computer engineering there, right? Computer science, it focuses on computer architecture and algorithms and data representation so this is a lot of coding right that's computer science software engineering would be developing software to make it reliable efficient and affordable so software engineers will usually take things from a, um, a computer scientist and take it from version 1 to version 1.1 to version 2 to version 3 and that's their goal the computer scientists will do the code, but the software engineer will try to make it reliable and efficient. So they need to know a little about programming, but they're not exactly going on the coding whole day. They spend a lot of time testing and doing, doing sort of things like that, right? So the major output will be large-scale applications. Oh, yeah. And these notes will be available until Thursday. So if you all want to write down anything, you can write down anything because the video will be, um, the video will still be available throughout the whole, um, crash course, right? Okay. Information system focus on applying computers to business problems. Business problems. So, information system will be taking all the IT that you know and trying to get it to work in a particular type of setting, which will be large scale systems to make a whole business, to make a business more efficient. Um, right. So, what so when we do IT, what we're trying to do is we're trying to get things to apply to life. Um if we're gonna get it to apply to life, then we have to do something like this. We have to be able to characterize data. In characterizing data, data could be unprocessed, unorganized, discrete, continuous, quanti qualitative, quantitative, detail, or sample. Each one of these has a different Right, so let's go to unprocessed. Unprocessed data is data that is usually meaningless, which is our set of numbers, so like 13, 9, 15, 27, 14, 8, and 1. All of that there is unprocessed. Unorganized would be, you have the 13 here, you have the 9 there, you have the 4 there, you have the 1 there, you have the 27 there. There is no, it's not even a line, it's not even an alphabetical, no, I mean, it's not even in numerical order, right? So that'll make it unorganized. <clears throat> Qualitative data, data that's based on opinions and points of view, and it's very subjective, so that means I think it looks good, I think it's green, I, I no, not as green, I think the color is wonderful, adjectives not beautiful, wonderful, happy, them kind of things, that's qualitative. Favorite color and things, so anything like favorite. Quantitative is based on facts and numbers, and it's usually objective, so numbers like cost, times, sizes, heights, all those things are quantitative. Detail now, it contains the facts about every single occurrence of the thing. Sample, it takes some measurements and extrapolates it. So like sometimes when you have a graph, and you have like a few points here, one point there, next point there, next point there, it'll kind of be like, all right, that graph most likely gonna do like that. Even though you don't have the points for here, you could still sample certain parts. In science, it's usually called a best fit curve or a best fit line or some kind of thing like that. All right, then there's discrete data. Discrete data could be um, fixed, which will be like whole numbers, that'll be integers, and continuous, which will be like decimals. Yeah, points. So, Continuous data is kind of broken up into decimals. Discrete will be one or zero or whole numbers. Thanks for watching the theory video. If you learned something, give it a like, give it a share, subscribe, do whatever you have to do. 
And if you want practical applications of the things, feel free to check out any of my classes. You can find them on my website at makeitsimplett.com. I have classes for all different subjects from CSEC IT, CAPE IT, CAPE Computer Science, and many different tutorial videos that you could find on this channel. So um, thank you very much and look out for the next video that is here or here because I have all the theory videos for all the subjects.